Hello, YTPC. Parsimonious Piper here. Today I've got a VR for Buckeye. Favorite July 4th memory. But first, let's light up. This is a 1950s era Briar Lee Tall Billiard. Grain is nothing spectacular. This was a seconds brand to the Briar Lees that are the uh, pipe by Lee that I collect. But it is a very solid smoker, and when I got it, it was unsmoked. Yeah, that's right, a 60 to 70 year old pipe for $20 that was unsmoked. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. All right, let's get this lit. Oh, and in it, a little housekeeping. In it, I have the last of the Kramer's Cary Grant that I was gifted by the ever generous Garbage Man Piper. Now a couple times, a couple bowls I've had, I, I did not need anything except the first light. No false light, no charring light necessary. It just burned all the way down. All right, Buckeye. Now this one I think is going to need a second light. Just as soon as I said that, of course. All right, Buckeye, you said you wanted our favorite July 4th memory. Well, I got to tell you, I have loved your series on growing up in the 80s. I graduated from high school in 86, so I, I kind of grew up in that cross section from 75 to 85, that decade. And I certainly had some really good memories of fireworks, especially when we lived in Germany and, and they did them on the Air Force Base because that was spectacular. You'd go out to the golf course in between, uh, in between uh, bunkers and semi-underground aircraft hangars. And they would blare from the loudspeakers that you could hear from miles, patriotic music, um, while the fireworks went off. But, and I'm sure there are going to be a lot of you guys out there who can, who can empathize with this. Uh, since becoming a dad uh, 20 plus years ago, most of my favorite memories involve my family, my kids, my wife. Fourth of July is no exception. Now I'm going to show you a couple pictures that take you back 21 years. To when this happened. So here's a shot of my son and my daughter. Yeah, you can see there's a only a couple years difference in between them. He was uh, three. maybe four at the time, she was just one. She was not verbal. In fact, she was not verbal until into her twos, which we know now is a blessing because we can't get her to stop. Anyway, you can imagine, we would uh, we lived in Arizona at the time, and, and you can imagine just how fascinated Wade, our son, was by the fireworks and, and uh, those little Jerry Maguire glasses, I tell you what, we would be out in the parking lot at a shopping mall in Mesa staring up at the sky. Had to be late because Arizona's bright. Uh, even though they don't change times, it's still bright pretty late and still hot in July. But boy, we'd be staring up there and he would just be all eyes. Just fascinated by the whole show. Our daughter was too, but she she expressed it a little differently, not being verbal yet. Every time an explosion would go off up in the sky, she would look up, she'd put her little hand up, and she'd squeeze it, and she'd go <coughs> for over an hour. <coughs> Every time one went off, it was the funniest, funniest thing. We probably have it on video somewhere, but back then it was those clunky, massive VHS cameras, and, and we haven't converted all of that. 
but I, I just absolutely loved sharing those fireworks with my kids. I gotta say I love the country we live in. We're going through a very hard time right now, both from the COVID and the civil unrest. But I can tell you this, our country's stronger than that. And we will come through the other side stronger together as long as we want to. God bless America. God bless each and every one of you. Light them up. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks.